Hi, this is Dr. Go, and today I'd like to talk about setup, holding the violin. Important things to think about are when you are teaching somebody how to hold the violin and such, you want to think of the long term view, not just simply getting somebody to hold the violin and make some sound, but so that when you properly set them up, that they will be able to play everything from the beginning to the most advanced stuff without major problems in their holding, okay? And this can easily be done, but important things must be paid attention to. For example, you want the violin held in such a way that when they shift all the way up to the top positions, the upper arm does not cross the line of the ribs, okay? You don't want your upper arm here to cross this line of ribs when they shift all the way up because that can lead to serious shoulder problems. Okay, at the same time, you don't want the shoulders to be uneven, holding up the violin like this, okay, because that can lead to other problems later on down the line. You want always the shoulders to be as level as possible. I know some people with scoliosis, the shoulders will automatically be off depending on how bad the situation is. Uh, still try to keep them as naturally level as possible. Yeah, if a person comes in with a slight offset because, you know, they have shoulder or spine issues, you try to maintain that same angle and don't seriously change it or anything because then you can start injuring muscles or such. Uh, there are special situations where a doctor should be consulted first, but in general, these are some general guidelines I found to be very helpful for myself and my students and my colleagues. Okay, so some basic things. Okay, and then like always, rules are meant to be broken. These are some general things and each one will have to be adjusted according to the student. But okay, this is something that I've been teaching to my students and I've had taught to me and it's been working pretty well so far. Some minor adjustments and you'll see all the way through there are adjustments to be made because everybody's bones, body are all different. And so slight variations will have to be made. Okay. So I have a five steps process. So the first thing you want to do is really get a good grip on the violin. Yeah. You want control. I've seen a lot of people make the mistake of grabbing up here. And well, that makes the bulk of the violin's weight farther away from you, making it heavier, more difficult to control. You want it. You want to really choke up there, get as much control of the instrument as possible, okay? So step one, hold it right in front. Step two, all the way to the side, like really 90 degrees. You'll see a lot of people hold it and just rotate their body. Don't do that. Don't do that. All the way over. And this is an important part, okay? Step three, invert, point, and straight in. Now here, you're going to have to make some... Uh, changes in the position. Don't let them put their head up on it yet. Okay. What you want to do is have them wobble it around and find the most comfortable position where the violin, it, whether you have a shoulder rest or not, doesn't matter, where the violin naturally sits up on top of the trapezius muscle. Okay. There are some people that physically it feels better for them to have it on the collarbone. That's fine. Each person is different. Okay, uh, in general, we try to have it up on the trapezius muscle, but like I said, every person is different. You must allow for it. Okay, once they find where it sits comfortably, it's touching the neck, it's on the trapezius muscle, it's just comfortably sitting as naturally as possible, then it's time to include the head. Okay, look up, look to the side, and instead of just plopping the head down, which puts your jawbone on an uncomfortable position, on an uncomfortable part of the chin rest. You want them to snuggle in like they're going to sleep. This is their favorite sleepy whoopee, their favorite sleeping pillow, what not, okay? Not jam their head down. You just want them to snuggle in and relax. Everything just relax, okay? It, it, to hold the violin should never be a muscular thing of, you know, uh, you know, use the neck muscles. It should just be the weight of the head, and that's it. In fact, the full weight of the head is too much, okay? The violin does not weigh that much. Most of the weight is already on, you know, this part of it, so you don't need to 
press extra with your head. Once it's up here, look up, look to the side, snuggle in, relax, and then to make sure, bring the left hand over the shoulder, bring the left hand to the, to the scroll, body the instrument, even touch the nose. Okay, and why? Because it moves the shoulder on. You'll see as I'm moving, my violin's moving up and down. Okay, shoulder, scroll, shoulder, uh, uh, sorry, yeah, shoulder scroll, body of the instrument, touch the nose. Okay, so this is very important. Yeah, and like I said, it, each person is different, so the angle is going to be slightly different. The angle here is going to be slightly different on every student, and that's fine because every student's body is different. I hope this was helpful. Cheers and best wishes.